subject pronouns in French with FrenchSpanishOnline.com. In this lesson, we are going to see the personal object pronouns in French. In English, they are me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. In a sentence like I can see you, I the subject, and you the object. It's what we are going to see how to translate it. In French, unfortunately, we have more than one category to translate these pronouns. We have one for things and another one for people. And in the second category, we have three subcategories. So let's start with things. In English, it's easy. We have two pronouns, it and them. In French, because we take into account the gender of the words, we will use le and la to translate it and les for them. Let's take an example first in English. I'm reading the email. If you want to use the pronoun instead of the email, you will say, I'm reading it. In French, the same thing. Je lis l'email. Email is a French word and is masculine. So we will say, je le lis. As you can see, le, the pronoun, is before the verb and not after, like in English. It's a rule. Let's take another example with a feminine word. Je lis la carte. So I'm sure that you can guess how to translate this sentence now. Je la lis, of course. Let's take an example with the L apostrophe. I received the letter. I received it. J'ai reçu la lettre. And we will say, je l'ai reçu, because the verb to have starts with a voile in French, so we will use L apostrophe. Plural, I received the letters. I received them. You know that we'll use les to translate letters. J'ai reçu les lettres, so je les ai reçues. Okay, so three pronouns in French, le, la, les. People, now it's a bit more complicated. Instead of saying, I send a letter to Peter, you can say in English, I send him a letter, or I send a letter to him. So it's more complicated in French, why? Because we have to make a difference between direct, indirect, and reflexive object. So three third categories. So, what do we mean? When we say direct, for example, in English, you say, you see her. Her comes directly after the verb. That's why we say that her, this pronoun, is a direct object. You are speaking to her. Her is not directly placed after the verb. We have the word to. For this reason, we say that her is an indirect object. And we will add a category for reflexive pronouns. Uh, expressions like the man kills himself, think that you can read a newspaper. So we, we are going to see how to translate himself, herself, themselves, and so on. So fortunately for these three categories in French, we have some similar uh, pronouns. For example, to translate me, you, us, you, for direct, indirect, and reflexive objects is the same a pronoun in French to translate me is me or m apostrophe, you te, t apostrophe, nous and vous. So let's take some example. You can see me. So you know that me is me and of course placed before the verb in French tu me vois. Okay, another example. I'm talking to you. You here is an indirect object but the same in French te placed before je te parle and another example you are reading a book to us us indirect is nous placed before tu nous lis un livre okay so now let's start with a direct object because the difficulty comes from the third person which is different for direct object to translate him we say le or l apostrophe her la l apostrophe and the plural them is les. It's like things actually. I see her. Okay, her is a direct object after the verb, so the translation will be je la vois. Okay? I'm calling him. Him, direct object. Je l'appelle, l apostrophe, because of the voile, of course. And the third example I invite them. Them is les. Je les invite. And that's all. Let's see now indirect. Him becomes lui in French, but her too, lui. And them is leur. I'm speaking to her. So her is an indirect object here. So we are going to use lui. 
place before, je lui parle. Okay. He's writing to them. Them is leur, before, il leur écrit. And another example. She is reading a book to him. Elle lui lit un livre. The difficulty in this lesson, that is, some words in English are indirect, but not in French. So you need to know the verbs. Reflexive now. Reflexive himself, herself and themselves. Only one word in French, ce or s apostrophe. For example, he kills himself, il se tue. And that's all. Another example, he's sending letters to himself, because his name is Mr. Bean. He's sending letters to himself, il s'envoie des lettres. And he's washing his hands. You can say that in this sentence in English, there is no reflexive verbs, and you're right. But, and that's a difficulty, that some words are reflexive in French, but they are not in English. Because in French, actually, we don't say he's washing his hands. We say he is washing himself the hands. So it becomes a reflexive verb in French. Il se lave les mains. Okay? And that's a difficulty between the two languages. So let's resume what we have just seen for people and group of people. Three categories. For direct object, you remember that the third person, singular and plural, work for things as well. A second one for indirect and the last one for reflexive. The only difference comes from the third person. Let's go a bit uh, further now to add another difficulty and mixing things and people. If you want, for example, in this sentence I'm sending the letter to Peter, to replace the letter and Peter with two uh, pronouns, you will say, I'm sending it to him. In French, you can do the same thing. J'envoie l'email à Pierre. So to replace email, direct object, we'll use le. And to replace Pierre, indirect object, you will use lui. How to place them? Je le lui envoie. As you can see, the direct object is before the indirect one. Je le lui envoie. J'envoie la fleur à Sophie. So with the feminine word, je la lui envoie. Okay? It's not a rule, unfortunately. It works only with the third person. With the other person, it's the opposite. Il m'envoie l'email. Il me l'envoie. Here, as you can see, the L apostrophe, so the direct object, is after the indirect one. It's a case for me, te, nous, and vous. Il te lit le livre. Il te le lit. Il s'envoie les lettres. The reflexive form. Il se les envoie. And remember that for the third person is the opposite. Il envoie les fleurs à Sophie. Il les lui envoie. Don't ask me why. It's like that in French. Thank you for watching these slides. See you at frenchspanishonline.com. You will see for this particular lesson two quizzes to try to uh, remember all these pronouns and to see if you are able to choose the correct one. Of course, you can also visit our new website, franglishnews.com, uh, English News in French with audio files. Thank you again. Au revoir. Bye bye.